Play for Colorado Rapids. You're watching football at TV. Yesterday. How are you doing? I'm good. So tell us a little bit about how you spent your off season. Well, pretty much off season. Uh, you know, right after off season. I mean, uh, after the season, I try to like yeah. relax for like two, three weeks, and after that, you know, just kind of ease into training again. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, and then last year I actually broke my foot, so I stayed at Denver and then just train and do the rehab. You know, okay. but if I have a chance, I like to go home and spend the time with my family. Yeah. And then it's just in a little train to, you know, keep in shape, that's it. Nice. Yeah. And so last year, uh, you proved to be one of the premier right backs in yeah. the MLS. Um, but many people have said you were snubbed for the 2011 All-Star Game. Uh, does that motivate motivate you for, for this year? I mean, you know, I mean, as long as you play good and as long as you play your game and, you know, you have the good results, eventually you're going to get there. And I don't really like focus on trying to make all the team and all that stuff, but you know it'll be it'll be you know excited to be you know selected for the all star team. But before that, I got to do my job first and just keep doing what I'm doing. And then you know eventually they're gonna you know select me as a you know all star team player. You got a new coach, yeah. right? Um, Oscar Perea. Yep. Has your role changed at all under him? I mean, that he loves to possess the ball, and so that means I can, you know, join attack mode. So it's really exciting for me. But at the same time, right now, he just the season, and he told us that we have to have like solid defense. So like now, as a right back, my job is always first thing is to defend first. So like right now, he's like really emphasized about like defending. But also, he said, you know, as, as long as you get time, and as long as you know you possess the ball well, you can go up. So. It's uh, it's definitely a change compared to last year because uh, the uh, last year we had a different coach that he's like more like defending minded and you know always and he didn't mind like I'm like me joining attack but he you didn't like, like to, in college me to you know go up so you like to try and get forward as a right back yeah exactly and that's my game and I think it, if I, as long as I do that and you know their left wing they they have to chase me back so mm -hmm. you know they he can't attack much so I think it, at the same time attacking and is like defending for me you know so yeah nice can you speak a bit about the tragedy that affected Japan last year and and how it impacted you personally it was actually it was crazy because uh, it was the middle of a uh, preseason and I was in Seattle like day after we play against Seattle like a uh, preseason match mm -hmm. and I was gonna go sleep and uh, I get the call from my uh, older brother and he said you just did you hear what happened in Japan? I'm like, I have no idea. And then I turned the TV on and they showed all the clips and everything. And I was, I got scared right away because, you know, I tried to talk to my parents and then I couldn't, you know, mm -hmm. I couldn't reach them. And and I told my older brother, like, what's going on? He's like, he's like, he's same thing. Like, he tried to contact my, fa like, all the family, like, no one answered. So then I was like, oh my God, you know. And I, I was just praying, like, you know, they're okay. And it finally got through them. Like, eight hours later, everything happened. Mm -hmm. And then they told me everything, you know, what's going on, and and I saw like more, you know, the video clips and all that on the news, and I saw how bad it was, and then it was definitely the, the biggest, you know, earthquake that we had in Japan. I mean, we have like small one all the time, and we had a big one uh, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. and we are really experienced country to have, you know, to deal with the earthquake, but still that was so huge, and it had a huge, you know, impact on our country. And, you know, the people suffering, like, you know, so much, and it's still, mm -hmm. one year later, you know, people tend to forget, but still, like, people suffering, and people, those people lost their houses, and they don't have anything, and they still live in, like, temporary housing, you know, with, yeah. like, other, with strangers every mm -hmm. day. And, you know, definitely, it's, it's been one year, and we uh, try to rebuild, but still, we have so much, we still need so much to do, and we have so, we still need so much money. Yeah. And then I've been trying to help too, and you know, the one thing is, it we can never forget because it happens every every year. You know, mm -hmm. knowing that Japan is the hurricane that hit and down, you know, southern mm -hmm. part of the U.S. too, and then before that Haiti, they have a huge earthquake. Yeah. You know, and it's happening more often now. And you know, as a human being, we have to you know support each other always. And we gotta keep doing it, you know. Mm -hmm. Even it's been it's been like one year, but we can't forget it. We have to always like remind each other, yep. to encourage each other, to support that. And then, 
we we are actually getting so much help from other countries and you know it's really good and we like yeah, especially us you know they help us all the time and we really appreciate that and we just need to keep doing it yeah and if something happened to us we got to do same thing again you know to yeah. uh, to you know maybe like japan as a country can do something you know yeah so it's been one year but definitely we still need help more time to uh, rebuild again but mm -hmm. I think it's going in the right direction right now. Good yeah. and so after that though it was pretty exciting the women won the World Cup how? Oh yeah it was it was huge because you know it gave us gave people living in Japan like so much in college like men and everything you know. It was like a little bit of hope. Oh yeah exactly you know it was I mean no one thought that they're gonna win you know I mean US is always strong and all sorts of Germany you know and it was it was really tough but they know they knew that you know, yeah. they have a really skillful and technique-wise, you know. Mm -hmm. it comes like physical, like, athleticism, they're like a little, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, not quite good as a German team. And but you, fast, Yeah, quick. but it's quick and technical, so they mm -hmm. stick with that and they got the, you know, they got the win. And yeah. I was so happy and that gave everybody the hope and everything in the back in Japan, so it was great. Nice. I know you put together several efforts to raise awareness and money. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit about, about what you did? Well, actually, uh, me and my friends, uh, we came up with the idea to make a T-shirt. Mm -hmm. You know, just uh, just uh, you know, like a little my signature on it. It's like it was like really simple, and uh, put my uh, name on the back, and uh, put my number on my back, mm -hmm. and then uh, we decided to sell it, and uh, you know, all the games, and we tried to sell it online too, and then we actually, I mean, we we sold a T-shirt for like only like eight dollars, so you know, yeah. we didn't make much profit, but st still, we sold it so much, and you know, we made it quite money and then we actually donate to a uh, Japanese Red Cross nice. two weeks ago, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Why? Why? Because he's small just like me and, and he how he plays soccer just gives me like, I don't know, so much energy and all that because he never gives up, you know? Mm -hmm. He's not like fancy player or anything, he's just, he wants it so much, I can see that. Like he's higher desire on the field every time he touches yeah. the ball, every time he plays soccer, you know. Mm -hmm. And he, even like he get, you know, you get killed all the time on the field. He get tackled so much time, and he just he never goes down, and he never dives in. He just you know, on his hard worker, and he has a talent. He has everything, you know. And he, I never met him in person, but I heard he's like a great guy and everything, mm -hmm. you know. And he does all the charity work all the time, so I respect him as a person, as a player. So you know. I think that's why it's not like, you know, Christian does it, but, you know, Messi, it's like, I don't know, more close to me, like, it comes to playing style, you know, mm -hmm. I could give everything, you know, he gives everything he has on the field and he leaves everything on the field. So, yeah, that's why I like Messi. That's a good answer. Um, your favorite TV show? Favorite TV show will be, uh, right now, How to Make in America. Yeah. It was like, uh, before it was Entourage. I've never seen it. What the... How to Make in America? Yeah. It was actually this two guys grew up in uh, New York. These guys, like, you know, they want to be like a designer. Mm -hmm. And they've been like doing it <coughs> when they're young, but like it doesn't really happen, you know? Mm -hmm. And they like struggle every day, but they try to make it happen every day, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's what they did live in New York, and they try to make it happen as a designer. And it's, I don't know, they... Just try to live their dream? Yeah, I mean, you know. It kind of reflects my, you know, lifestyle. Kind of, I came from nothing too, and they tr the same thing, and just try to make it happen from nothing, from scratch. So, yeah, nice. Kind of, it's it's a good TV show, and I think it's it's really upcoming TV show list, so you should check it out. Okay, yeah. I will. What celebrity after you win the 2012 MLS Cup um, would you like to date? Ooh. Wow, I don't know. That's. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think it's since the year is lovely now, maybe, no, no. but uh, I don't know, like no. what, like, a anybody? Yeah, anybody, you, you've got your choice, your pick. Anybody? Well, I might have to go, uh, my, uh, favorite actress back in Japan. Okay. Yeah, her name is, uh, Yuki Nakama. Okay. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, well, she'll be the one. the one? Yes. Uh, which American celebrity? I guess I see. I don't know like many names, but I don't know. No one. <laughs> uh, maybe. 
Uh, I don't know. I'm making, you know, that's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> What's your ritual? You can just. Who's your all-time favorite Japanese artist? Uh, artist like a music, like a music, music wise. Music. Uh, I gotta say, Kitsmeishi. They are, they're kind of, kind of hip hop. You know, kind of like rap group and all that. They they old now, but I've been like you know, listen to them for like all the time, and you know I grew nice. up listening to them, so I like them. What cleats do you wear? I wear Puma V1010 SL. Nice. Yeah. Koss, thank you so much for taking time out to to talk with Footballer TV today. Wish you the best of luck in your season. Thank you. <laughs> what cleats do you wear? I wear Puma V1010 SL. <laughs> Puma. Yes. <laughs> so, sounds like you were reading it. My name is Kim McMullen, and I am a <laughs> 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 <laughs>